The younger motor 1.6, according to servicemen, is the most reliable. Good statistics are partly due to the fact that he was friends only with the lightest three-door version of the Grand Vitara crossover, and with the simplified all-wheel drive system, operating conditions are more forgiving than other modifications. Structurally, the motor is not much different from its progenitor from the late 1980s, which was on the first generation of this Suzuki. One of the examples of the fact that modern improvements can be for the benefit of a proven unit. Motor 2.0, the most common is installed only on five-door crossovers. The unit is reliable, but rather weak for such a machine, which is why it suffers. In order to drive more or less vigorously, it needs to be twisted. And with reasonable handling, these engines go 400,000 kilometers without major repairs. By the way, this engine is reusable. The manufacturer took care of the repair dimensions of the parts of the connecting rod and piston group. The weak link is the timing chain. Usually it stretches and starts to rattle strongly by 150,000 kilometers. This will happen sooner if you do not monitor the oil level. At low pressure in the oil system, the tension mechanism stops working properly, the loose chain wears out faster, even a brake is possible, threatening a meeting of pistons with valves. The first 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers of run, a 2-liter engine does not eat up oil at all. After 120,000 kilometers, normal consumption is up to 250 milliliters per 1,000 kilometers. A greater appetite, according to the experience of servicemen, indicates the beginning of wear on the oil scraper piston rings and caps. But do not rush to open the engine if the flow rate has risen to 350 milliliters. For some time, it will be possible to reduce it to normal if you switch to a thicker oil, for example, from 5W30 to 5W50. The main thing is to control the level more often. When the low oil pressure lamp on the instrument panel lights up, it will be too late. Attachment belt regularly serves 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. In some cases, the water pump is also changed with it, sometimes by this time it starts to flow. Motor 2.4 began to be installed on both body modifications in 2008, after the first restyling. In the initial period, it often happened that the blocks cracked on the cooling jacket. As a rule, this was evidenced by oil streaks on the left side of the engine. The manufacturer promptly finalized the block and replaced the motors for all the victims. On machines manufactured after 2008, this problem no longer existed. Like the 2-liter unit, this engine likes to eat up oil and runs over 100,000 kilometers, but has a more reliable timing drive. Cars with the 2.4 engine are not very common and do not have such high mileage as with 2.0 units but the servicemen do not remember a single case of replacing the chain. But this motor is disposable. Repair sizes and spare parts are not available. The capital costs a pretty penny. You either have to buy a new short block or give the unit for restoration to a specialized company that repairs engines. Like the 2.0 engine, on a run of 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers, the engine cooling pump sometimes fails, a knock warns of his imminent death. On machines of early releases, cases of malfunction of the attachment belt tensioner roller mechanism are common, even at low runs, the roller starts to jump. Because of this, the belt quickly dies. On most machines, the dealers replace the defective unit with an upgraded one during the warranty period. Cars with the 3.2 engine were sold in 2008 to 2009. The high price tag put a lot of people off. This GM engine was also installed on the Opel and Thera and Chevrolet Captiva crossovers. A reliable and dynamic unit is bad only because it is American. It's not about political bias, but about the need to order spare parts in the USA, which take a long time and are expensive. Vitara V6 3.2 is distinguished by more reliable and comfortable suspension elements, for example, shock absorbers, and is armed with a 5-speed automatic, the rest have a 4-speed. This version of the car was originally built to meet the requirements of the American market. As in the case of the motor, you have to pay for comfort with a ruble and the waiting time for spare parts. The neutralizer is not famous for its outstanding resource. Trouble-free mileage has a wide range, from 40,000 to 100,000 kilometers, and depends on the quality of the fuel. The cost of the node is about 60,000 rubles. Its malfunction manifests itself strangely, in addition to the appearance of the check indication on the instrument panel message about the low efficiency of the converter, for some reason the cruise control stops working. Most often, a tired node is replaced with a new one. Although many owners prefer used options and non-original ones, 
and some even cut out the converter. Servicemen also offer flashing the engine control unit and installing decoys on oxygen sensors. However, as practice shows, this is of little use, it is rarely possible to fully deceive the system. It is better to replace defective parts with new ones. Oxygen sensors are surprisingly durable. They die mostly of age. The average resource is 6 to 7 years. Not all non-original Lambda probes are suitable for replacement, since the control system is very sensitive to the values of the internal resistance of the sensors. According to the experience of repairmen, Denso sensors do not exactly conflict. Servicemen recommend using 95th gasoline, although 92nd is also allowed. According to them, fuel with the higher octane rating significantly extends the life of the converter and the engine as a whole. Another common weak point of all motors is the left support. Longitudinally located engines deviate to the right when you press the gas, so it is the left support that works more to brake. Its average resource is 60,000 to 70,000 kilometers. The malfunction makes itself felt by significant vibrations on the body when the engine is running at minimum idle speed. Transmission The all-wheel drive transmission is reliable, but not flawless. On runs from 50,000 to 100,000 kilometers, on almost every car, transfer case seal leak occurs at the junction with the gearbox. The difficulty is that to replace it, the unit must be dismantled and completely disassembled. A new seal will last about the same. The transfer case itself is reliable, the main thing is to maintain it in a timely manner, oil change every 40,000 kilometers, and make sure that no other leaks occur. However, this rarely happens. It is important to periodically engage the locking modes of the center differential and the lower row in the transfer case. With prolonged downtime, the motors of their drives turn south. Most of the time it's not worth repairing them. Fortunately, the motors are available as separate spare parts and are located outside the transfer case. On machines manufactured before 2008, the front gearbox has a factory defect. In cars with a mileage of 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers, at a speed of 80 to 90 kilometers slash h, when coasting, the main pair howls strongly. At first, the owners tried to repair the unit but the restored unit was not enough for a long time. The problem is solved only by replacing the gearbox with another, modified one. The manufacturer has significantly strengthened its design. The knot is not cheap, about 85,000 rubles. The leak of the front right drive oil seal torments every third Vitara. It is enough for 40,000 to 100,000 kilometers, depending on the mode of operation. Suspension the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out by 70,000 to 80,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, you have to change the lever assembly, as with many models, rubber to metal joints are not available as separate parts. And the very design of the levers does not allow you to painlessly press out the dead silent blocks and put at least non-original ones, the walls of the parts are too thin, there is a high risk of cracks. There are cheaper Chinese-made levers on the market, but, as practice has shown, their quality is out of hand. The weakest element in them is ball bearings, which live an average of a couple of thousand kilometers. Another massive sore is the rapid wear of the front stabilizer bushings. The suspension immediately starts to rumble strongly on bumps. Some owners change bushings almost every 15,000 kilometers. At the same time, the stabilizer struts are quite tenacious. They go 80,000 to 90,000 kilometers, ball joints, front and rear shock absorbers are practically indestructible. Wheel bearings rarely remind of themselves before 100,000 kilometers. They go on sale complete with hubs. Interestingly, the front and rear nodes are interchangeable. For two or three years of operation, the bolts in the rear suspension arms, which are responsible for adjusting the toe and camber angles, turn south. Often there is no other way out, how to cut down all the fasteners and change eight silent blocks. Steering. The service life of the steering rack 9 depends only on the operating conditions, it can live 400,000 kilometers or only 30,000. On a quarter of the machines, a leak occurs in the upper stuffing box due to the fact that the junction of the rack and pinion mechanism and the steering shaft is broken. In some cases, it comes to knocking in the connection. Wear of the side cuffs of the assembly is a rather rare occurrence. The rail assembly is changed, as the manufacturer does not produce repair parts for it. The restoration of the node in specialized firms does not save either. Due to the design features of the rail, it is difficult to choose high-quality components, and as a result, it will cost more. Every three or four years you have to change the power steering tube because of its wear at the attachment points to the body. 
the manufacturer has already released more than one modification of the part, but the problem has not been eliminated. But the tie rods and tips are almost eternal. Body. The power structure of the body provides a high level of passive safety for passengers, but the front end absorbs the impact energy too effectively. Even in small accidents, the damage is significant. The repair will cost a pretty penny. Eyes and automatic transmissions have proven themselves well in the previous generation of the crossover. With timely oil changes, every 40,000 kilometers, the units serve faithfully. The mechanical box is also highly reliable. For 11 years, no significant and common faults have been found. Clutch life depends only on driving style. The recommended service interval for the unit is the same as for automatic counterparts. Pre-2008 vehicles sometimes have problems with the shift gate of the manual transmission. On a run of 60,000 to 100,000 kilometers, plastic bushings break off, and sometimes the stem itself. In addition to the assembly, its individual elements are available for repair. Regular audio system, mediocre quality. There are times when she chews CDs, this primarily applies to the CD changer. To remove the disc, it is necessary to partially disassemble the head. Installing a non-original head unit will eliminate all problems. A weak spot in the climate control system is the fan motor. On runs over 120,000 kilometers, it burns out, sometimes along with the control relay. The elements are located separately. The motor costs 12,000 rubles, the relay, 2,000. On such runs, the damper actuators in the stove module sometimes fail. Temperature control and recirculation motors burn out. Fortunately, they are available as separate parts. On machines at a respectable age, the air conditioning tubes located in the engine compartment sometimes rot. The compressor itself is reliable. Total. Suzuki Grand Vitara is an interesting car with good aftermarket liquidity. Despite the conflicting characteristics, he quickly finds his buyer, in two to three weeks. The design of the crossover is archaic, but reliable. The permanent all-wheel drive system has a locking center differential and a low-range transfer case, but the machine's off-road potential is limited by low ground clearance. At the beginning of production, the options package was not bad, but the manufacturer almost did not expand it, and as a result, Vitara fell far behind its competitors in terms of consumer qualities. The best option is a five-door car with a 2.0 engine and automatic. It is also the most common so it provides a rich choice when buying and good liquidity when selling. This version has mediocre dynamics, but acceptable fuel consumption. More powerful rides are more interesting, but are scarcely presented and less practical, mainly due to increased fuel appetite. Buyers of Vitar are understanding and corrosive people. They carefully study the technical condition of the machine, and a specific package of options does not really matter to them. There are many cars on the market with decent mileage, but you should not bypass them. Quite live specimens that have passed 200,000 to 250,000 kilometers come into the trade-in. The main thing, do not skimp on a full diagnosis.